dollar heists in less than two months at the same West Omaha jewelry store. With the recent robberies at Gunderson's, we're asking Village Point about security and hearing from businesses nearby. KATV News Watch 7's Melissa Fry joins us live. Another jeweler nearby worries this may be a case of copycat, believing the crooks were after the cases of Rolex watches like these ones, an item on all jewelers' radars across the country. You see how fast they work. Hammers hit the glass and the robbers get away with high price merchandise. This smash and grab September 9th at Gunderson's nearly repeated Saturday night. We are fully staffed with security and that we work very closely with the Omaha Police Department. Kim Jones with Village Point says the shopping center makes security a top priority. The customers should feel very confident. Uh, to come and have a safe and, and enjoyable experience. Something Gunderson says it's doing as well. Quote, we do our utmost to protect our staff and customers. In the future, our Village Point location will have armed security on the premises. A manager at Malishock's Jewelry just down the street says armed security is the only way to go, especially right now. National Jewelers Group's warning of a rise in Rolex watches robbed. Malishock's and Gunderson's Two authorized Rolex watch dealers in Omaha. Saturday night, two Gunderson employees reported to police three robbers came in with sledgehammers, going right after the case filled with men's watches. I feel like that could happen anywhere. Shoppers like Nick Joslin want store owners to consider extra security, just as Gunderson's has today. It makes it feel like there's somebody keeping an eye out on everything. Omaha police are still looking for the robbers in both cases at Gunderson's. Crime stoppers at 402 444 stop could land you a cash reward. Need another look at that surveillance video? We're going to post this story online at KETV.com. Back to you.